Today is January 4th, 2016, and I am amazed and happy to report that I still have a pet butterfly. Meet Lulu. She's a monarch butterfly. She eclosed, which is the technical term for emerging from her chrysalis, back on September 10th. And so she, when she eclosed, she actually uh, damaged her wings a little bit, so they were just slightly crooked, and so she wasn't able to fly, and therefore was not able to migrate down to Mexico. So I kept her as a pet, and she has been living very much as she would if she had flown all the way to Mexico on her migration. I'm actually all the way up in southeast Michigan, so it would have been a long journey, but we think that perhaps maybe she would have made it if her wings had been wonderful. But she's here with us as a pet. So what I've been doing is maintaining her living conditions to be similar to what she would be experiencing down in Mexico. I do limit her light exposure. Uh, she gets about the same as she would get if she were outdoors. Uh, the room that I keep her in is a little bit cooler than the rest of my apartment. And I have been giving her Gatorade Frost to eat. Uh, she eats anywhere from 0 0.05 cc's to 0 0.01 cc's. Um, no, I take that back. Uh, she eats anywhere from 0 0.005 to, 0 .1, to 0.01 cc's of the Gatorade Frost, uh, which actually supplies her with her sugar content as well as her electrolyte balance. And if you take a look at this 3 cc syringe, that bubble there represents how much she ate today. So she's got a really full abdomen, which you can see in the video. And so as soon as I'm done with this video update, she'll go back into her mesh pop-up container and back up into the room that I'm keeping her in. Her wings are actually in pretty good shape considering how long she's been a butterfly. They are becoming a little bit transparent in some areas uh, because of her flapping around occasionally. But I would say they're pretty much matching what you would see in the wild for a monarch butterfly of that age. Um, because she closed back on September 10th, we estimate that she hatched from an egg uh, sometime around the middle of August which stands to reason I collected a whole bunch of eggs during that time frame and she's likely one of the ones that was hatched uh, indoors uh, without exposure to uh, predators, without exposure to uh, other butterflies, caterpillars, or anything that might be carrying uh, any illnesses. So I'm gonna keep you all updated as her life progresses. I hope that you've enjoyed this little video, this little piece of summer uh, still lingering with us here in January. Lulu, the monarch butterfly. Thank you so very much and may your 2006 be amazing.